and if you are watching this if you are on my channel for the first time you have not subscribed you want to hit the subscribe button and place a comment after you have listened to this teaching and you will bless so what i have titled to this topic is spiritual warfare now let's see what the bible have to say concerning spiritual warfare now this teaching i'm going to do it series by series and i'm trusting god that at the end of this topic you will know how to apply your authority in christ and you will also know who you are in christ and you will also know what you have in christ and you also know the power that you have in christ and you also know what spiritual warfare is you know a lot of people are doing things today that they call spiritual warfare but that is not the bible kind of spiritual warfare so that is what we are looking at tonight and i want you to follow this series all through i will be posting them bits by bit praise god now the first scripture we are going to look at about spiritual warfare is second corinthians chapter 2 from verse uh second Corinthians chapter 2 chapter 10 i would like us to read from verse theory let's take it closely he said for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh now so the first thing we have to know here that is there is war praise god so we can't deny the fact that there is war and that is there is spiritual warfare we can't deny that fact now when the bible talks about we walking in the flesh it's talking about though we are in this physical world praise god though we are in this physical world you know so though we are in this physical world eh? the war that we are fighting as a believer is not physical praise god the war we are fighting as a believer is not physical praise god let's what the bible say it is he said now in verse 4 and i said for the weapons of our warfare so in other words the weapons we use in our fight are not carnal. The word carnal yes means physical. And the next line says, but mighty to God to the pulling down of strong oaths. So he said there is a fight or there is a war. Now, what is the kind of war according to this scripture that we are reading? Praise God. What is this war now? He said, This war is not carnal. This war is not physical. Praise God. He said, But this war is mighty through God to the pulling down of strong oaths. Now, so the next question will be, What are strong oaths? Praise God. You know, a lot of people think that strong oaths is uh, that one old woman in the village or that your co-worker or your co-tenant or your neighbor in your street they are not your strongholds praise god they are not strongholds that is that these are not what the bible call strongholds or you know in part of where i come from from africa when people are very ugly sorry to say number one is ugly you know we think they are wish or we see them to be demonic Praise God is a very bad mindset. We are not to behave like that. Okay. Now look at what he says. Yeah. He said, For though in that verse 4, he said, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God to the pulling down of stronghold. Now, what is that stronghold? Is it wishes? Is it wizard? Is it devil? <laughs> Praise God. I am not, don't quote me wrong, I am not saying wishes does not exist, I am not saying demons does not exist, I am not saying devil does not exist, but are they the stronghold? Say to the pulling down of stronghold. Praise God. Now, what are strongholds? Now, in I say, cast it down, imagination. Cast it down, imagination. Bring it down, imagination. So, what are imagination? Now, just think. If you want to think now, the other word of imagination is thinking. Now, if you want to think, what do you use to think? Is it not your mind? That's why it's a imagination. 
there's some there's somewhere I'm going to, okay? Imagination. So when I'm thinking, I am thinking with my mind. Glory to God. When I'm thinking, I am thinking with my mind. And I say, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and take note of that word, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought, imagination again, every thought, every thinking, to the obedience of Christ. Praise God. And bringing everything to the obedience of Christ, to the Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed forevermore, knowing that I lie not. Now, according to this scripture we just read, you discover that he said, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, praise God, but they are mighty through the pulling down of stronghold, casting down every imagination. So that is to say, the, we the, the battle, the warfare is in my mind. I'm talking about spiritual battle now. It's in my mind. It's not in my village. <laughs> Praise God. It's not in my streets. No, it's in my mind. See, when a man fades in his mind, that man has already fed. The mind of man, success, Breakthrough, deliverance, uh, blessings, they start in the mind of man. They start what? In the mind of man. No, so that is why I say bring it down every imagination. So what are your imagination? What are you thinking about? It's a bring it down every ma imagination. Eh? To the obedience of Christ. Now, before you, before some of us become a believer, we have a particular kind of mindset. Praise God. Maybe before you become a believer or before you become a Christian, you have this defeated mindset. You have the mindset of a failure. You have the mindset that uh, there is there is nothing. You put one that will prosper. Do you know that when you have that kind of mindset, that there's nothing you put and that prospers? No matter anybody that prays for you, no matter anybody that prays for you, if you like, let all the big men of God all over the world let their lay hands on you. If your mind has not changed, if your thinking panther has not changed, nothing's going to work. Nothing is going to work. So what this play is saying now, it said, don't quote me long. I remember I told you, I'm not saying there's no demonic warfare. We are looking at it, accord, we are looking at it bit by bit, according to this scripture right now. Praise God. That is to say, praise God. That is to say, even if there is demon that is troubling you, that is troubling somebody, when that demon is cast out and the person mind, eh, the person mind is the mind of a defeated man. Nothing will still happen. Nothing will still happen. Nothing will still happen. Nothing will still change. Because his imagination is contrary to who God has called him to be. For instance, when you believe that you are from a cursed family, praise God, I am not saying there are no family that are cursed, but the family I belongs to is the blessed family, and that family is in Christ. Hallelujah. Now, when you believe that you are from a cursed family, and now you are now in Christ, and see, now that you are now in Christ, you still have that mindset that you are cursed in Christ. Even though you are in Christ, and as you are in Christ, you can never be cursed, but because your mindset is still the mindset of the one that is cursed, your mindset will hinder you. Not necessarily the cause now, not, not necessarily demons now. What is not injuring you is your mindset. 
Maybe you walk into a place, everybody you meet in that place, I've never succeeded. Hey, when you hear this one story, don't say I have never succeeded. You hear this one story, don't say I have never succeeded. You hear this one story, don't say I have never succeeded. Automatically, you are down, you are broken, you feel defeated in your mind already. If you don't change that thinking, what affects those people in that environment that you're just walking to will start affecting you. I am praying for you that what have you that is watching this video right now, I'm going to stop here because I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to continue from here next week. Please go. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, just subscribe. Okay? So that you will follow this series. But I'm going to pray for you right now. God just let me to pray for you right now. I'm going to pray for you right now. According to what I just said last, if you are in an environment that no one prosper, if you are in an environment that no one progress, by the reason of this light tonight, the word of God is light. Say the word of God is light unto my feet. Praise God. He said, when he spoke unto me, the spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. I decree in the name of Jesus, in the name of the one who died and rose again on the third day, that you will begin to make progress right now in that environment you are. I don't care to know where you are in the world. I don't care to know where you are in the world. Because even when a man have a defeated mindset, even if he is in the, in the best nation in the world, <laughs> hallelujah, the truth is that there is no best nation in the world. The best nation in the world is the nation of the mind. That is why it is called imagination. Praise God. That is why it is called imagination. So wherever you are in the world, you begin to make progress right now by the power of Holy Ghost. I lift you from where you are now to where God has ordained you to be. You begin to make progress in the name of Jesus. If you are sick in your body, you are in your body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And blessed be your name. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. So I continue this series next week, Saturday. I'm going to post the video exactly this time. God bless you. Amen.